Welcome back to Ferocious Education, this is Ed. Today I'm going to be talking about TRCH once more, Torchlight Energy. Now, I did make a video on this not long time ago, but I had a good amount of questions in the comment section below. And I tried to answer a lot of them, but I thought if some people had these questions, others might as well. So to give you a clear overview of the next week and how things are going to move, hopefully this video will answer all the questions that you might have at the time or will have soon. So without further ado, let's jump right into this one. Now, Torchlight. I'm going to stick to the facts as much as I can, but I'll give my opinion at the very end. I'm also going to attach a bit of technical analysis there as well, and some key supports, etc. that I'm looking at. Now, in terms of Torchlight, now, we do have a record date, and again, I'm just giving you a quick summary. A record date of June 24th. Now, before June 24th, there's something called the ex-dividend date. I did talk about it. Usually, it's two days before, which means... Uh, that would be June 22nd. Some people say it's June 23rd, but to be safe, let's say it's June 22nd. That means technically in all technicality, based on this as well reference page on Investopedia.com, the record date is around two days before the, rec uh, the, the actual, sorry, the ex-dividend date is two days before the record date. That means June 22nd. So you buy on June 22nd, you, ha you have to hold it through June 24th, and does that include the extended hours? Well, I did some research as well because I usually don't pay attention to when I'm holding, etc. And from what I see is that the record date itself, you have to hold all throughout. And the after hours, is just an extension of that date from what they from what I've read. So that means you don't you can't sell until June 25th. Now, in all technicality, you can sell June, uh, June 24th after hours and you might actually still get the dividend. But would you risk it? And here is the current counterpoints between back and forth, and I'll talk about that in a second. Now, this is actually from SeekingAlpha.com. It's an article from someone, and basically from even after other researches, etc., uh, what I've actually found is that you have to hold through after hours, at least that, that won't really harm you unless the price point changes, and I'll talk about that in a second. Now, another article here on investors.gov, it says the ex-dividend date for stocks is usually set one business day before the record date. If you purchase a stock on its ex-dividend date or after, you will not receive the next dividend payment. Instead, the seller gets a dividend. If you purchase before the ex-dividend date, you get a dividend. So if it's one day, that means you have to buy two days before. So again, reiterating June 22nd based on investors.gov. Again, these I'm referencing as we go. Now, the other thing I do want to talk about is shorts. And I did talk about that last time. Do shorts actually have to pay that dividends? Now, in, in a general aspect, yes, if an investor is short on a stock on the record date, they're not entitled onto the dividends. In fact, the investors in this is instead responsible for paying the dividend owed to the lender of the shorted stock that they borrowed. Now, some people said, hey, but they're actually getting preferred shares or they might actually get preferred shares. We did get some additional news to clarify this today. Now, Torchlight announced that their actual, their, their agreement will Go ahead on June 30th, and that merger will close by then, June 30th, the end of the month. Now, the extension provided provides time for the June 24th record date and the June 25th payment. So, they gave us a June 25th payment for that dividend. We still don't even know how much that exact dividend di is. But in my last video, I did highlight a video I did a while ago called Four Dividend Valuations, TRCH. Uh, and you can find it on my channel. And I did go with estimates and went anywhere from 8, uh, 10, 17 to $39 dividend. We're not exactly sure how much that is. And speaking of which, make sure to drop a subscribe and le uh, leave notifications on, on my channel. It helps my channel a lot. Drop a like as well. And if you would like to see more contents like this and discuss a bit this more, you can go on to my Discord, join it. It's totally free. Now, so right now we kind of have a plan right we, we we understand that june 26 you have to have the stock by then latest uh june 24th you have to hold through you can't sell at june 24th so that makes it june 25th but what about the shorts and i did discuss this a little bit fur further last time it looks like there is a good amount of short interest on the stock a lot of people are shorting and i bet like after we get this information for today you'll also find high short interest but what a lot of people are not noticing or maybe not grasping on is that these shorts will have to cover if they don't want to pay this dividend. And 
logically, they would want to cover if they don't know the dividend. What if it's $100? Well, just throwing a number, right? You don't know. It could be $0.10. Cents, it could be $40. Do you want to get stuck with that? No. At least that's what a logical person would be. But sometimes short sellers are not logical. And sometimes long, longer, uh, people going long are not logical. So you have to keep that in mind. Now, from what I anticipate is going to happen is that as we're going right now, it's going to continue to push forward until the 20 second perhaps by closing 23rd things cool down a little but people are covering as they go on the 23rd and the 24th 25th we're gonna get a drop but here's the thing by june 30th it's gonna close so that's very smart now imagine it starts to drop down on june 25th right and then june 25th they announce hey by the way that dividend yeah we're gonna be being paying like 30 bucks now a lot of people are not going to understand because they didn't watch this video that they actually needed to buy by 22nd and so they're gonna buy and it becomes a positive news for the company it goes up and then drops down a little and then you know people other people that are like hey we really like meta materials and by june 30th as they want to close it becomes an almost a SPAC push and it pushes further so keep in mind that there will be high volatility in the stock and there's a lot of ambiguity but what we know is that we're going to get a bit of a slowdown on the 25th very likely that's going to happen so be careful and perhaps consider selling uh before this happens around the early hours of june 25th and was scooping it right back at the you know midday or end of the day if you really like meta materials that seems to be the consensus of a lot of people and let's move on towards technical analysis to tell you key supports where I think it's going to hold. And if it doesn't, consider selling and then buying later on in the day. There's nothing wrong with that. Really, people shouldn't shame each other for it. You're literally trading and hedging your own position. You can also buy puts to hedge your own position, but that's a bit more tricky for experienced traders. Let's move on now towards technical analysis. Now, I can come in towards technical analysis and tell you this is a very bullish run. Uh, ADX shows it's a very strong move. Uh, that we're actually very high momentum. William percent R shows it's a little bit overbought and everything looks bullish. But you already know that. You don't need a chart to tell you that this level. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to focus on some things like volume. Today is a record date volume. Showing you that a lot of people are just buying this just for the dividend. Which means it will follow as we exactly expected. By 22nd, that push will start cooling down a little. 23rd, 24th will plateau or maybe drop just a little. 25th, it will drop unless the dividend comes in like an insane news and people overreact. That that, that will actually make it push upwards. Um, and then closer to between the 25th of say 29th, etc. It's going to plateau still a little, maybe drop a little. And then the 30th, it actually can easily skyrocket again because of that merger news and then kind of stabilize from there on. But in terms of the Fibonacci retracements, and I'm only highlighting this because institutions use this. High frequency traders use this. So might as well know where your key supports are. The current support level is at the 860, 681, 555, and 429. And you get to see that these ticks are actually touching these lines for one reason. High frequency traders and algorithms use this. Now, let's take a look into a one hour perspective. See where your key supports and resistances are currently lying at. So the current support that I'm thinking that is very important for us is a 973. Below there, 912. Below there, 870. And from 870, 844. Now, the most dangerous thing is if it breaks that 840 or maybe even the 799. It can easily go down to 677. I'm not saying it should or would, but I'm saying be careful. The next level is 634, 589, and then down to 554, down to 529, down to 498, 470, etc., 421, and then it drops down to 374. Now it comes to the question to Ed, what do you think? So just as a quick summary. Around 22nd, it's from today towards tomorrow, the 22nd, you'll start feeling it uh, push forward. Uh, 23rd, 24th, it will start plateauing a little. And I'm saying not dropping because guess what? Shorts will have to cover by around then. So keep that in mind. Um, so by then around, let's say after the 24th, it's a little bit too late for shorts to cover in that sense. So 25th, everyone who bought just for the dividends will start selling. That might actually drop it downwards. Hopefully it doesn't do that between the 25th and the 30th. It's going to be highly volatile because of that 30th date. 
And beyond 30th, you're going to get a new ticker, new closing merger, hopefully, uh, or perhaps the next day over. And then from there on, it's just going to flow with meta materials and that TRCH dividend will be history. Now, what do you think about the sticker? Make sure to mention down in the comments below. Share, subscribe, and like, and have a wonderful day. Now, if you made it this far into the video, I do recommend that you go ahead and join our Discord server. There's a lot of amazing folks in here. Uh, we do a lot of discussions here into the trading floor throughout the day. A lot of people are in there, and we do ask questions. You can ask me uh, any question you would like on there. We do post research and DDs, and we hold weekly uh, chat sessions. And we also do have a lounge in there. So make sure to actually join that and join the fun there. Have a wonderful day and a good one.